Well, grab your drinks, folks. It's time to put the world away. Welcome to Chesney Football Club, and welcome to the final. This is the final episode. I actually want to have one more video. I'm going to attempt to, unless my computer blows up, uh, like five years in the future, and see how well our see how well the AI does for us or not. As you can see, hey, the last of hey, we beat our parent club. There we go. Jesus came through and scored his first. Was it his only two? Yes, his only two goals of the year against Chelsea. <laughs> we had played Man City, and of course they scored in the 93rd minute. That wouldn't have been enough, though. And then that 94th minute by Ever Everton there. But you guys saw Leeds and West Ham. I just finished out with that 4-3-3. And... No good, guys. We got relegated. There it is. There it is. There's the R. We're the bottom of the table. Leeds deserves to be above us because they killed us, right? That last, you guys seen that? Yeah, 4 nothing. So they deserve, again, to be above us. We deserve to be in the bottom. And, you know, what? whatever. I could have did a different tactic. I could have uh, stopped declining because they kept coming to me left and right and wanted to talk about, hey, you need to play me more and this and that. And they were pissed off. And they wanted team meetings. And I just declined it through water bottles. And, and I mismanaged the team and ruined the dynamics. <laughs> when you lose this atmosphere, when you lose this right here, folks, right here. <laughs> Good luck winning. It's very hard. Um, maybe, you know, a different tactic. This I was starting to use at the end of the year, and I was starting to see. Well, if you look at the results, not so good. But we were scoring here. But it took us a while. No, we didn't score at any. Yeah, we didn't score at all in April. And, and it ended and, and in March. March and April, not a damn goal. Ah, that is my worst ever football manager, <laughs> I think, right there. Seven games in a row? I don't think I've ever had that bad. Well, there's that first for everything, isn't there? Could have, would have, should have, you know, what things I could have done, would have, could have done, all that good stuff. The facts is, is right here, we sucked. <laughs> we sucked. All right, so, you know, maybe if I, this is this is it for me. I'm going to wait until another or for 2024, the beta to come out, and I'll pick a team. But definitely, you know, I always, in, in my football manager past, I always played the lower league and bring them all the way up to the premier. But I miss what we had last year when, when I played with Kelty Hearts here in Scotland. I miss that Champions League. And I finally got to learn about the ins and outs of European football and Champions League and the rules. And was play it was fun. It was basically what I'm trying to say. It was fun. So next football manager, I'm going to play a, a top or team. Could pick a, pick somebody here in the champions and championship, and then and then get get up in the Premier League and probably yo yo back and forth for a couple years. It's okay, but I want to be up in here, baby. I want to get that if I do play here in England, uh, get that uh, championships league, or go my back go back to Scotland. I had fun there. We'll see. Um, what do we do? How, how do I do this? Um, I've showed this a few times, the history, right? You guys, we've seen this a few times. I don't want to bore you with it, but here I am. Four years in the champ, or four years in the Vanarama South to start off, right? We had 12th, 6th, 6th, 1st, Vanarama, three years, 18th, 5th, and 1st. So we battled every time we did go up that first year, 20th in the League 2. Then we got promoted in fourth in League One. Th that year we didn't we didn't do too bad. We got promoted to League One. The first year we got eighth, fourth, second. But then in the championship we got we got uh, relegated. But then right back up and we we kicked butt that year, and then uh, back to back. Then we went to championship and we got promoted again, which we should have won that we screwed up there at the last month, and then this year. Premier Division and got relegated. So I'd probably play again. If I did play right, we would probably go down and then we'd be probably competitive. We'd probably be probably favorites. Because I think most of my good players want to stick around. 
uh, Sunderland want our Wonder Kid. Is he a Wonder Kid again? Nope. I guess it depends on what media you ask. But he's a Wonder Kid one week, and then next week he's just, just a center back, folks. So we've got some guys uh, definitely developing, but there he is, 6-5-3, and I played him a shitload of games there. 36 starts, so there was just two he missed. So he stayed healthy. That was good. That's going to be he's gonna be a good player. And we probably wouldn't be able to keep a hold of him. I do have him for 2042. Value between 6 to $8 million. Yeah, Sunderland's going to probably come in for big money. Well, who, who was our best guy? Average rating was Cockings, right? 6.9. Last five, he was doing good. 7 point. And then Baker, which has been here for what? Five years? Well, we had him alone for two. Yeah, two, three, four, five years. And then it was uh, super sub. Jimmy was good until his attitude just, his morale just, he was not happy. Uh, Prince didn't start him very much. That's it. Number number one goals. Look at that. You guys, at the end of the year, and the top goal scorer is a super sub guy, which only had eight starts. That that is not a good, not a good season. Seven goals by him. Brilla seven. Aya five. Wow. Four assists by Baker. Highest. Player of the match. Brilla. Highest average wage was Chile. Wow. See, overpaid. I only used him. Started him eight times. So I was just throwing money. I was just like, yep, just give me the best guys my scouts can find. I got to just form a team here somehow. Um, I probably would have started with something like this now. Something like that, maybe. With the wingers. Was this stuff just wasn't... It was sitting back, cautious trying to hoof it up it's just not my style but I did it I did it anyway um man what do, what do we look at I guess we can look at let's just look at the fun stuff huh European world let's see who who got the world stuff nations world ranking is France it's Spain England third Portugal Brazil Belgium Italy Mexico eighth Argentina and Germany for the top 10. Top players, Oscar Hernandez, Liverpool player. Barcelona. Man, look at these players. <laughs> look at this. Look at all these 19s. Well, there's two 19s. Another Flair 19. 20s. Yeah, I want players like that. So next year we're going to play another. I mean, I would have to play another what? Five, maybe 10 years? Eh, let's say really, if I stuck here with Chesant, what? It would take us, you know, keep upgrading the training facilities and the reputation slowly building up with Chesant. Maybe. Yeah. Three, four, five years to get players like this that will want to come to our our club. Um, major clubs, the top club, huh, in the world? Athletic Madrid, Man City, Liverpool, PSG. I guess you can look at it this way. Top ten, somewhere in here. Finances. Who's the richest club in the world? What? Uh, we are. <laughs> what the heck? All England teams, huh? Wait a minute. Is that where's the filter at? Is this is all England teams. This can't be right. It says world. 
Because I only have the I only have this league loaded, guys. That's what's going on. Right? Yeah, I only have the England loaded up. Computer performance, it says fast or first class. So So that must be I thought it really? I thought it would give me every team though. Something, something something's wonky here. Turnover, four hundred and sixty-one million Arsenal. Okay, we want to see the awards, right? See some fun stuff. Look at this guy. So, goal fifty, goalkeeper of the year. Let's take a look at this Man City, this Felipe. Oh yeah, look at that. Sofine, Sanosi, Liverpool player, SS guy. Look at those reflexes. Eighteen. Diego Costa dominated there. World and World Golden Glove. Isn't that the same guys? Oh, they're different players though. Most saves, maybe? Is that what the Golden Glove is? Clean sheets and stuff. Yeah, clean sheets, conceded, probably like that. There we go. Most clean sheets on in this rating. Goal 50. Not sure what that, the, the best goal scores. I have to look that up online. What's, what, what, who, who, only strikers? No, there's a midfielder. Guy that goes, goals. He scores 50 goals? No. <laughs> it's the top Top goals. It's goal 50. Whatever that means. Goal 50. So 47 appearances. He had 15 goals, 15 assists. Man, this guy is all-around player. 18 goals, 39 appearances. Barcelona. Look at these. Look at those attributes. And Jure. Petrovic. Oh, look at this. This is a Slovenian guy. Dribble first touch. PSG. So this Oscar won it two years in a row. Goal 50 award. Next gen, right? So the youngsters. I guess 18 and younger. It's this guy, Thomas Pavlik. To try to sign those players, huh? Mads, what a name, huh? Mads and Jave. Javier. Next under twenty one player of the year. See, I want to be able to have players like this. Our right, next save, guys. I'll pick I'll pick a bigger squad. And um uh, if I had a lot more time, I would probably do two saves. I'd have like, uh, you know, one from l lower league all the way up to, the, you know, try to get up to the top division, try to be the best we could like this one. And hey, we did we did pretty well with Chesson. We, we got him pretty high up there. The best you can get, best league. And then I'd pick another save where we're just kind of like a top team and just being every year we're in the Champions League. World Footballer of the Year. That's Oscar Hernandez. Oh yeah, Erling Holland. How's he? Is he is he retiring? I don't see a little retirement tag, so he's gonna go. He's at natural fitness of a 19, so he can probably play up until. What's the oldest you've seen a player? I've seen one like 41 or 42, I think, in the game. There you go. My goodness. <laughs> this 20 is the highest, huh? He's had oh, he had 24 there in the premier division that won this the second year in. Couple 20s, 747 was the, no, excuse me, 752 was this nope, 755. 
seven seven six his first year in the premier division is at his highest average rating and then Bappe, he's done right yeah he's 39 year old okay he's retired he's the head coach of nobody yet fitness guy nah Golden Ball. World Player of the Year. World Player of the Year. This 24-year-old player, huh? He was the next... No, he was in... Uh... Where the hell was he at? He was in the goal, goal 50. He was third place. 24-year-old there. World Player of the Year, Jure Petrovic, PSG. Real life player, Mathis Tail. Um, what else? The team of the year. Here we go. I like to go by, sort of by the clubs. We have Barcelona with one player, Liverpool with what? Five and Man City with whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Man City, five representing there in the world team of the year. PSG with three, Real Madrid, and West Ham has one. Um, huh, never looked at the retirements, competitions, guys. English Premier Division. It's the world. Best reputable competitions. Cups. Who's been who's won the World Cup? <clears throat> Italy won it in twenty thirty four. Oh, we got it going on right now too. But we had Italy, Portugal in twenty thirty, Austria twenty twenty six, Belgium in twenty twenty two, right? What else? There's all kinds of stuff, right? World. Um, Champions League. Who's won that? The last couple past winners. Man City, Liverpool, PSG. So the, the usual suspects. Liverpool, Man City, Athletic Madrid won it two years in a row. Man City, Chelsea. Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool. And then it's Real Madrid. Europe Super Cup. I'm not sure what the Super Cup is. I got to look that up too, guys. Man City's won in a couple years. It's every year, huh? Crystal Palace, West Ham, Tottenham. I say it's all. I say all English team, but nope. There's a couple uh, um, Italian, Spanish teams in there. Um, we also want to look at. World, the world rankings, right? We just seen that. It's France, Spain. Yeah, we just seen all that. These small teams. I mean, what's the smallest in the top ten um, country with the like the littlest? Um, on the top ten here, what country has the smallest population? Right, Portugal, ten million. It's Belgium. 11 according to this yeah these other teams have way more so yeah it'd be portugal was the smallest i mean what's i mean germany's got 83 million these guys are big time 128 mexico so yeah 
Wait, Italy's got Saint 59. Belgium, like I said, 11. Brazil's big, 212, 12 million. What's England's population? 55? Oh, yeah, we're in the future here. 2038, too. And so on. 46 for Spain. France is 65. So that, that's, I mean, that's good. Portugal with the smallest population, like, you know, with the 10 million. They're up there. I mean, you even go further and you got, it's just impressive. I like uh, countries that have small population, but that are like dominant in, you know, in certain sport. 27, Ivory Coast. Um, what's Denmark? They got five. See, look at that. Just under six. There you go. <laughs> All right. But yeah, the Chesant, though, guys. Um, where did we, we finished off? Facilities, good training facilities, average youth facilities, youth levels of three. They're good. We're going to move in their stadium at 15,000, just over 15,000. Exceptional academy coaching and good youth recruitment. So I've updated that quite a bit. And we're finally moving into a new stadium. We played in, I don't think we ever played I think maybe one or two years we played in our park, but then we had to rent out this <laughs> Borumwood one, rent out 16000 per year, this 52-52 stadium. But man, when, once you get in that Premier Division, boys, man, that's some big money from that TV money. How do I look at, okay, the end of season review, um, well, I got to I can't skip that, huh? I can't skip this. Ignore the form. We're, we're playing well. Are they going to fire me? Or should we need to see tangible proof of that in the table? And that's, it's over. The season's over, board. Why are they asking me this now? Maybe it's best if I just resign. Yeah. It doesn't have to come to that. Let's get a little while longer and reconvene at a more appropriate time. We believe it's important to stay on good terms with you. Yeah, because look at everything I've done. Um, I wanted to see where are they now. Chesn have been given 1.93 million for achieving 20th. So yeah, we, we should, I mean, we got all this money. We should dominate in the freaking championship but we're not going to find out um I get, you, have to, you have to go to the uh end of season review i don't want to do all that like where are they now and stuff can't you see like a history hmm What else, guys? I know there's something else. As soon as I get off here, I'm like, oh, I should have showed him this and this and that. And um, Competitions. Probably here. You guys want to see who, who won the past winners here. Right? It's Liverpool this year. Runner-up, Newcastle, West Ham. Man City, West Ham. Look at it, man. It's Man City before that, mostly. Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Man City. Look at all, yeah. And then West Ham just recently. It's just been three years in a row there. And then they got third two years. What's its notes? I guess we can, I never take notes. You guys, you, guys, we can, you can create notes in this case. You know that? Award winners. We've seen all this stuff. I showed you guys all this, right? Sponsorship income for us, guys. Look at that. We got a whopping two. Oh, not too far. I mean, <laughs> it is, but I thought it'd be even even worse. Two point seven million, and West Brom five, and then it's oh, then it's a big jump. Wow, look at ours. Two hundred nineteen million for sponsorship income. <laughs> They even have a thing for referees. 
<coughs> who's the highest rating referee guy? He only had five games, though, but eight points. Yeah, this guy, 32 with it over an eight. Whoever ranks them, that's crazy, huh? Pretty good. Referee stats. Injuries. We should have had the most this year. Right now, we don't have any, but throughout the year, we probably had the most. Um, I'm just trying to see how... Right here, best 11? Yeah, where are they now? Ever? I guess see, here it is, guys. Our best 11 are Joko. Let's just look at them. Remember him, our goalkeeper? He's playing for Portsmouth. Yeah, he did okay last year. He didn't play this much this year. Did he get hurt or something? Hernia, a few weeks. That was two years ago. Remember, he's that giant 6'8". Yeah, he was with us. Six years here. Good stuff. And then Mohammed, the right back. There aren't 12 apps for us, really. He's playing for Barnsley now in League One. We just had him on loan. We never had the guy, though. We just had him a rental. Huh. Never clicked this button. Where are they now? Let's see. What is the hell does that do? Although five members of the team are now retired, the rest continue to be involved in football. Okay. Oh, yeah. Orme's at Millwall. Craig Rogers is at Bristol Rovers. Okay. Remember him? Yep, he's doing good there in League One. Uh, Mahar, defender, we had there a few years. League one player, League one, League two player. Aaron Bott, Tyrese Briscoe, Golding, yeah, Andrew. Oh, remember Farmer, guys? Yeah. The, okay, here's the other players that feature this. Yeah, Jay Sko, he did a lot for us. 120 at 44 goals couple years for us and then he he retired at 24. He's like nope I don't want to play anymore. 24. Owen Farmer. He was the man. 88 goals he had for us. That 24 20s between 24 and 26 and 84 appearances. He was dominating. Then I actually brought him back remember. Like we're up in League One he just wasn't cut out for it though. Owen. Yeah the Farmer man. Uh, Hewlett was a decent striker for us. 70 goals. 111 appearances. Jack Smith. He was like a midfielder. And then Pitt was another striker for us for a little bit there. He retired at 24. What's over there? He retired at 24. He had a few of the best 11. Mahar, so. Golding. Yep, defender for us there. Playing for Worthing. Orme. Baker. Still there. 174 appearances for us. So he has the most. No, jo Joko had the most. 193 appearances. Rogers Farmer. Hewlett Bot. Hardwick. Yep, liked Hardwick. He's playing in Scotland, doing well here. Yeah, we just got rid of him. Got him on a free. So one of our best free signees there. Jack Smith, Tyrese, and Edgar, of course. All right, that's interesting, huh? Oh, yeah, you can look at this. All the players that we've had. Oh, my. Oh, wow. I didn't know you can do all that. Every player we had in the 2023. So you guys, do you guys know this? You do a, by appearances. So that first year, Preston, I don't remember. I, do, I don't remember these guys. 
Matthews, Seeger, I remember, Popo, Asante, of course, he had the 28 goal. Oh, okay, yeah, this is a better way to break it down. I was trying to give a good way, and I was trying to remember how some of the uh, YouTubers that I watch do when they do their end of the season review. But this is a pretty good. You go to history and the players, you can break it down by season. I'll have to watch some other guys. And you can see who had the most appearances. That's cool. And with their current team. Oh, yeah. Okay. And their current team at. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember all these. What the heck? Who were all these? What the hell? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? All these guys did not play for no appearances. What? It must be for the league. I don't know. These guys played. I mean, he was he he was one of our players, but he didn't play that first year. So is this this is all our players that ever. <clears throat> oh yeah, because this is just showing the league, so it's showing every player that we've ever had. Okay, it's every player we've had, and this is the season. This is what they've played. Okay, so from there up, yeah, Gary Bunn. Huh? I had high hopes on that guy would be turned out to do something, but he never did. Okay, so then, and then the next year, okay, this is interesting. So, right to here. At Kone, he was a goalkeeper. Yep, yep. And I'm guessing the ones that had the position are currently, st yeah, they're currently still playing. Okay, so, yeah. R Royston, all these other guys. He's in you. Remember this Chinese player? Yeah, he's an assistant coach now. Well, not yet, but his uh, staff rules, that's what he wants to be. Got Lee Bird. I don't remember this guy. I must have had a Rowan. I don't remember. Maybe I had a nickname for him or something. I remember Andrew and then Hewlett, of course. And there was nothing by him. Was, he, he just retired. But you have, if you have this little symbol by it, he's either... Oh, no. Okay, he's retired too. But, huh. Oakley had the most, yeah, remember Will GP? He was a, a defender for us. Does it have the career stats? Yeah, okay. We just had that one year with us. Okay, next year, Hewlett had the 37 goals. And Farmer had the 48 in the 2024-25 the season. Okay, so and the next season, 25-26, Owen Farmer with the 47 goals. Yep, we were loving the Farmer. And then I signed Briscoe. He had 21 goals. Hewlett had 18. So I had three strikers rotation there. At Bycroft, Defender, Ferguson. I think he was a defender. Okay, that next year, 26 27. Seeley, and then had the most appearances. Yeah, J. Sco, signed in J. Sco. Not the best there, 13 goals. And Briscoe at 19. And then Ben Wilson, I did sign. Yep, 15 goals. There's some of these guys. Briscoe's still playing. And how old's this guy? 35. Oh, he's the he's the coach. Okay. 27, 28. And we got Aaron Bott, the goalkeeper. I remember him. There's Pitt and Jaco. 31 and 21. So there we go. And then yeah, Freddie Draper, 18 goals. Retired kind of early as well. Ben Jackson, I'm trying to remember some of these. So, Tarima, I think he was one of the better defenders that we had. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine year. Jaco still Draper in there. Opana, oh yeah, yeah, the Opana, this Ukrainian player wasn't too bad for us. It's that one year.
Man, look at it. Talk about... Oh, okay, I thought this was the same team. Almost the same color, I guess. Colchester, and then he went to Gillingham. He's pretty good. League 2. Player-ish. Opana. James Pitt. I'm guessing this is the best way to see it. Mahar, here we go. Some of the, see now these guys are still got current team. A lot of these guys are still playing. Twenty nine and thirty, so eight nine years ago. Mahar, defender, Parks. I signed. I was hoping some good things from him. He just didn't do it too well. He had ten goals. He had, he had a lot of potential, if I remember right. Oh yeah, he's doing good in the national. Fourteen, nineteen goals, fifteen. That's not bad. Parker, yeah, because we had him when he was real young. Eminem, there you go. Eminem played with this for a few years. He's still playing. Oh, I thought he, <laughs> I thought he played more than two. He's there in Ireland having good times. Oh, what a, what a, oh, because they got, they got demoted. I was saying, what a big difference here from that year to that year. Bohemians, they got demoted. Uh, Brookings, yeah, he was one of those weird strikers, right? With that three finish. <laughs> he still got some goals for me, 10 each in his years. And then Boston bought him, he had 15 there in the National. Yeah, he was like, a, I played him as a, a pressing forward. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. There's Joe Coe. That's cool, though. It has all the players. All the players that we ever had. Okay, and then this year, and then the 30 31, we had Joko at 61 appearances. We had him for a bit. JC Slow. Yes, he had that 19. Was it 18 or 19 jumping reach? He's still playing here. Uh, yeah, that second year for us, he did well. And Swansea picked him up. 55,000. Man, I only had him. I only let him go for 55. I probably had no choice because he's like, I want to go to a bigger club, I'm sure. So, yeah, he's a League Two ish player there. But he had that big jumping reach. Um, yep, Roberts, Doyle, Ethan Power, 15 goals there. Nathan Frazier. There we go. This is when we. Um, he's playing right now for Tranmere, but he has 25 goals for us. And McMurray. Yeah, the Scott. Well, what's he up to? Because he had some good good physicals, remember? Yeah, Motherwell bought him for a million. He's been basically their number one starter. McMurray. Yep. Hank Golding. Yep. Interesting looking back, huh? Look at all these players. You've ones that you pick out. You have your favorites and Barini. Yeah, we just loaned him out, didn't we? Was that German? Yeah, we had him loaned out. And he did pretty good in League One for us. At Twenty-seven in all competitions that year for us. Oh, we loaned him from our parent club, Chelsea. And then he went to Germany here. Yep, Lepardo, yet the Filipino player. I'm biased because I've been to the Philippines a few times. I wanted him to work out. He was just yeah, he's just an average player there in League One. I even played him quite a bit in the championship. This is the <laughs> that year we got relegated. But no oh man, he's in the championship. Oh, he's not he's average. Oh, good for him. He's probably got a lot of, uh, how many caps has he got? 78 caps for the Philippines, yep. Um, Callister. Okay, and then 32, 33. Yep, Frazier, 28 goals. Apaya. We had him loaned out. That year he did really well. 32, 33. Oh, 
Hardwick at Ishan. Okay. Rio Pratt. He was another good defender. Yeah, this guy for us. He was the injury prone, but he didn't get injured for us. And he's playing pretty good there. League one. He's in the championship now, so good for him. Not doing too good, but. Get it, Giddings. Remember him? Came. He was kind of a guy going off the bench as well. He had some speed. Yeah, I spent two hundred fifty thousand for him. Yeah, he, I just liked his name. I guess but he didn't really he didn't do too much for us. And then he's in League One there. Craman, that's right. We got Craman. He was pretty good. He had that lot of composure. Right. He was pretty consistent. 18 goals. Championship. He had 12. 13 back in League One. And then Championship. It's 11 for Portsmouth. That first year with him. That's not bad. Championship. Lloyd Mann is a good defender. Just didn't have that positioning, but everything else was pretty good. But how's he doing in Barnsley? Yeah, average. Smagic. <laughs> Remember this guy? Loan did pretty pretty good for us. Went back to Serbia and played. And then Newcastle bought him. Didn't play at all. Oh, he's, he's being loaned out there. France. He's doing really good there. League 2 in France. Mensa. That was one of the... We had some good goalkeepers coming through, man. But we just couldn't hold on to them. Remember that? I definitely remember that. This guy right here, for instance. Yeah, I mean, 7.25 for us. If you only the 17 appearances, we just signed him. But he, I was like, oh, right, we got our future goalkeeper. And then Millwall came at 2.8, League One. And he's doing well there. And it looks like a premier Ashton Villa wants him. Championship side. Good for him. There was another guy, too, we had at the same time. Is it Gomez? Maybe him? The Rangers now. It's like it's he is the starter there for the Rangers. There was another goalkeeper though. The same time, it's Joko of course. It was good. Mensa, Gomez. We we seen Joko right with Portsmouth. He's that giant. Thirty-four. Yeah, that French Teddy. Opened good things from him. He had a bunch of potential, but and both footed. I I signed a lot of those players, both footed. Just didn't do it good at all for us there. And of course Baker, Crayman. Jamaican be crazy. There we go. <laughs> what what was he at? Right that year at League One, right? 38 goals in all competitions. Seven point kick butt there in that league one with. And then Olympiacus, of course, came in 1.9 million. He wanted to go. So, hey, he's not doing bad for him there. Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> That's what makes the game to me. Make Get some, get some, uh, nicknames. Was it this guy? Philippe, maybe? Yeah, he was okay. There was another goalkeeper I'm thinking about. It was Mensa. I think it was another M1. Well, here, I can just look at positions, huh? That's right, cool. You can do it that way, too. And it was... Um, Mensa, there's him. Philippe. For us. That's it? Well, so this isn't this isn't right then. Oh, you have to go all. Oh, it doesn't have all. No, that that's all. That's all. That's that's our ever every every goalkeeper. 
oh, it's just this year. Okay, that's how it, hello. That's how it's doing it is that, that season who made the appearances, right? But no, I don't see... Um, no, because I don't see all our goalkeepers here. Hawking, where's, where's Joko at? Oh, because we nick nicknamed him, huh? And is it going to show his... It was just here. So confused now. That's the first year. Oh, I guess if they're retired or something, they don't have their position by them. Is that what's going on? Yeah, must be or something. There's more goalkeepers here. I don't know, folks. <laughs> I've tried to make some sense some sense out of it be cool if you can do all seasons though see who had the most appearances for us hard tongue yep hard tongue was that signee in the championship and he, came, he did good we got relegated in that second year he went back to league one he did good back up to championship did okay yeah, and then Brazil came in for big money. He wanted to go. O'Hara oh, did good. Had them Loney from Chelsea. Yeah, he's coming in off the bench and starting some there for Chelsea. O'Hara. Oh, Kit. Remember Kit? Defender on that right side. Oakley, Creamen, and Brilla. All right, guys, we can sit here all day. Uh, we still have Dorking. How how they fare? They got? Did they win a game at least? <laughs> That's our. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Half five, so they're getting relegated. Along with us. All right, we can sit here forever and look through all the stuff. I know I'm forgetting some things, guys. But thank you all for joining me. But there's be another one. I'm gonna go right now, and uh, we're gonna skip five years in the future and see what happens. And uh, watch them. Watch the computer take them all the way back down to <laughs> where where we started, which was the Vanarama National South. But hey, not too bad, guys. We got the Premier Division, and uh, with the whopping tw twenty-one points, uh, I kind of want to play, but I don't. I I'm a little bit burnt out. This football manager, I want to go and just take a break, and I'll be like I said, I'll be roaring to go. Probably in about a week, I'll be like, oh, I miss football manager. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching with me, and. Uh, and stay tuned. There'll be one to five years in the future. Keep moving forward.